Why are you shaking your head? Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Hope you're all all right. Um, had a bit of a stressful morning this morning, to be honest with you. I've come into work and uh, went to go grab my lorry keys and they weren't there. So you have that sort of panicky moment where you're like, shit, where are my lorry keys? <laughs> I couldn't remember if I took them home or not. So I was on the phone to the girlfriend, check, check my pockets, make sure they're not in my hoodie. And she was like, check for what? And I'm like, lorry keys. And <laughs> it's fucking one of those moments where you're like, having a go at your missus, because like, you can't find your keys. <laughs> I know you shouldn't be. But yeah, she had a look for me anyway, bless her. They were not at home. So I was like, well, where the fuck are they then? Oh, I'm just filling in my defect report. I was like, where the fuck are they then? So I didn't really want to go out to management and ask them, because then it looks like I've, you know, misplaced my keys. And um, I sort of went around the yard, sort of having a look. Then I realised that be beneath the the rack of keys, there's there's a there's a bin. I thought maybe it's been knocked off and it's gone behind the bin because sometimes that happens. And obviously I couldn't see the keys because the bin was covering it. And um, hang on, what's my odometer reading? Two nine one nine five seven. Yeah, so. Um, I checked behind the bin, they weren't there either, so I said, shit, where are they? I'm going to have to go and fucking tell the bosses in a second that I can't find my keys. And then, in the corner of my eye, I uh, noticed another set of keys which looked identical to mine, so I thought I'd, I'd have a look, and they were, they were my keys, but they were just on the wrong fucking hook. But, it's annoying because you obviously, when you go and get your keys in the morning, they're on the same hook every day, like, it's labelled, that's where they should be, that's where I put it every day bottom left hand corner to be, to be exact where my keys are so I just go in and I just grab them and I go but no they were not on the right but they were on the right after that they were sort of two over this way if you're looking at me and um, I just didn't look didn't see them but um, fortunately I know what my keys look like so I sort of which sounds sad I know but I just managed to, to catch it in the corner of my eye I thought hey they look like my keys and they were Right, so because we had that cock up this morning, we are now running a little bit late. We are supposed to be getting loaded at quarter past seven. It's 20 past seven now. I have already called them to let them know that I am running a little bit late. I told them that I can't find the keys. Um, and then I called them back saying I have found the keys now, I'll be over in 15 minutes. So they are expecting me. And we're going to a place called Cumnor, Cumnor, something like that. And I'm pretty sure that's on the A420. Just gonna have a look, 25 miles away. Uh, yeah, on the A420. So I know where that is before you get to Oxford. Uh, and it's not a massive place either, so hopefully we get there quite quickly. <coughs> I might have gone there not long ago and done a school, I can't remember. Cricket club, so it's going to be tight roads. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan for today. You need to go get loaded now and then go to Cumor, or where it's called, Cumnor, Cumnor and um, yeah, go from there. How long we got left? Obviously you've got to sit tight for about 10, 15 minutes. We're on nine minutes now, so I'll give it a few more minutes and then um, I'll make a move. Yeah, stressful morning so far guys, stressful morning. Right, hello again guys. So we are on the, uh, on the move now. We are going to this communal place. Uh, it's about C-U-M. N O R, just like Cumnor or Cumnor, I don't know how you pronounce it. But uh, we've got to go to a farm. So, it could be fun to try and find. I spoke to someone before I left. I spoke to Pete. And he said that it was a bastard to find yesterday, and apparently every single truck driver that went yesterday missed the turning. Because it's off of this road. This is um, this is the A420. It's a 50 mile an hour speed limit. Most well, it, for us it is for lorries most of the way. Every now and then you've got national speed limit, which is obviously 60 for cars. 
but we can only do 50 if it's a single carriageway. If it's a dual carriageway, which it, it sort of opens up and closes all the time on the 8 or 20, we can do 56. Anyway, regardless, the turning is just off the A420, so I got to slow right down from 50 mile an hour and traffic behind me to, to turn into a, to a turn into like a double double gated fence or something. So I've been told it is quite difficult to find, but I'm hoping I can find it first time. I had a look at the map before I left. I know it's literally just before the road splits into two, into a dual carriageway. Go single carriageway into a, into a dual carriageway, and it's just before that moment on the left hand side. And it, we're only four minutes away, so it should be coming up soon. But we've got a 20 ton of tarmac on, and there is a 120 ton coming all together. And I'm on the second load, yeah, on the second load, so there might already be someone there. So we'll have to play by ear. But right, yeah, right now I can do 50 mile an hour speed limit on this piece of road, which is pretty much what I'm doing now. In a second it opens up to a dual carriageway, and as long as the speed limit changes to a national speed limit, I can then do 56. Which it does. So you see ahead there's a national speed limit, and it's a dual carriageway. That then means I can do 56 mile an hour. This, this A420 goes dual carriageway, single carriageway, dual carriageway, single carriageway, it changes all the way along. So uh, you've got to be careful. You've got to slow down to 50 after you've exited a draw carriageway, basically. Three minutes away, apparently, to where we've got to be. Nearly there. And what I thought I'd do is I'd uh, film me trying to find it. I've got my uh, other glasses on today. I haven't got the green ones on. I've got the red ones. Just wanted to uh, try them out. Visually, for me, there's no difference, but for you, it might be a bit different. Thought I'd try it out. Da, da, da. How many cars are going to try and overtake me here then before it goes in? We've got one coming up. He's got plenty of room to do it. Any more? Normally you get the odd dickhead who tries to uh, overtake you here. You could be right where I am now and they still overtake you on those lines. Typical, uh, I don't want to get stuck there on a line sort of attitude. Two minutes. I'm hoping I can find it first time because if I go past it, then I'm going to have to stay on the A420, well I'll probably have to come off the A420, come all the way back down to here, to this roundabout, and then go back and do it again. So I don't think there's another roundabout for me to turn around on on the A420. Have to see. <sighs> Keep yawning today, even though I've had loads of sleep. I went to bed proper early last night, like we're talking 8 o'clock. I was in bed. I did wake up until six o'clock this morning. So I've had plenty of sleep. Fucking 10 hours. All right, we're coming up to it now. I am gonna to need to slow down. I'm gonna to have to put my beacons on and let people know behind me that I'm gonna be maneuvering. Might need to put my hazards on as well to let them know. I do it closer to the time. I think it's going to be around about now actually. I might have prematurely put my beacons on, but they're on anyway. We'll just take them off a sec. Okay, it's going to be about now. Is it this one? No, not this one. I'm probably really annoying the cars up behind me. Is it this one? No. Oh, 
I can't see it. Alright, there we go. Fucking is tight. It's a bit dangerous because that is literally right on the, the verge of a, of a single carriageway going into two. You've got cars behind you wanting to speed up past you. Never mind. This is what they're going to be tarmacking. You can see it's all sprayed up. It's going to be a bash of getting out of onto that road. Right, I'm gonna have to get out and try and find someone. Like I said, I am technically the second load, so they might be already doing someone over there, so I need to go and have a look. But never mind. But yeah, that is a tight turn in. Definitely. Right, anyway, I'll uh, back in a moment and hopefully I've got an idea of what I'm doing. Right, so we're just uh, just about to go back in a sec, just waiting for them to tell me to come back. Got the uh, GoPro on the top as well. It looks like we're getting pushed, so you haven't um, seen anyone get pushed yet. Well, I haven't filmed myself being pushed. I filmed myself tipping into a paver, going down, paver fucking off. But I haven't finished my, I haven't filmed myself tipping up into the paver and then being pushed along. So that's what's about to happen. Well, I think so anyway, it's going to happen to, it just happened to Reg. Got to admit, I'm not looking forward to getting back out of this entrance. It was pretty tight. Getting in. It's just, uh, you've got loads of traffic coming from the right really fast, so it could be a pain in the ass. Especially considering, what's the time? You know, it's nine o'clock now, so... Right, are they going to ask me to come back or not? I've got to be careful with Reg, because Reg told me the other day that he was going to go and tell one of the gang members that I do YouTube, and he was going to get them to say, oh, you're Luke C, aren't you? Luke C in an HTV, yeah, I know you. So I've got to be careful when, when I'm on site with Reg, because I, I just think he's going to tell someone one day to say that, and then I'm going to get someone come up to my window, are you Luke C in an HTV? So I need to think of, like, a trick question. Like, all right, yeah, if you're a fan, what was my last video? Something like that. You all right? I went past him twice. Fucking <laughs> hell. I got here the first time. In the end, I phoned up planning. I said, where the fucking hell is it? She said, it's on the left hand side just before you get the dual carriageway. I just put in the Google Maps, the farm, rather than the postcode. Come out of it straight away. Ready yeah, ready when you are. Oh, bad job, Luke. I've got to come back here again later. I've got a Swindon run. I've got a Blunston. I see a Blunston. Then another one here. No, I got Swindon then Redden. See you later. <laughs> Did he just fall over? <laughs> I know uh, Reg, Reg uh, watches some of these vlogs. Why were you pointing at the GoPro at the back? I saw him pointing at the GoPro at the back, so he's obviously told him that he films, that I film. So now they're all probably watching. That conservatory looks bloody lush. You'll be able to see it in a sec on the left. Of the uh, look on the dash cam on the left hand side, you should be able to see it in a sec. It's like a circle. This place looks a little bit posh.
Right. So we're just reversing onto the paver. There's a lot of bloody trees in the way here. Gotta be careful of trees. Make sure I don't rip my sheet. So it looks like we're just waiting at the moment. I thought they were ready for me, but obviously not. I haven't been told, as of yet, not to film uh, anybody. I know uh, a couple of gangs know I do film. And um, no one has actually said, don't film. Or, like, if, I've, if, I, if I'm recording, no one said, can you turn it off, please? But I expect I probably will get that at some point. It's all a matter of time, isn't it? I mean, understandably, if you know you're getting filmed, some people might not like that. But they're not the focus of attention on this video. I am the focus of attention. Which sounds really big-headed. <laughs> Come on, let's go. At the moment, the uh, paver is just sitting there. I don't want to, um, oh here we go, it's opening up now. I was going to take the GoPro off to show you. So we slowly go back. Bloody automatic, shite. I think we're okay for trees at the moment. Up we go. like they're gonna push probably because of all the trees on the left they might push me in a sec yeah we can get to if the pavement gets to me about here we should push because I think we're clear of the trees now on the left hand side what I would like to do as well is open up the sheet uh, on the last tip so you can see the last little bit come out. That'd be cool. Um, what time did I get here? What time is it now? I've only been here about 15 minutes. About 8.45. Does that match up with the time? Left at 7.45, well 7.42. Takes about an hour to get here, so yeah, it's about right. 8.45, waiting time. 08.45 Because waiting time really only counts if you're here more than half an hour, I think. I think that's when they pay. So um, if I'm here another 14 minutes, which I expect I will be, then they have to pay waiting time. Uh, I've only done one tip so far, but as long as they've got a big bucket, their paver, it's like that, as long as they can fit five tonne in each turn, or nearly five tonne, then I only have four tips to do. So in theory, I've only got three more tips, in theory, but I might get pushed as well. So you can kind of work out how much you've got on. I should have about 15 tonne on, which I can find out the next time I go up. Go forward a little bit.
don't know why they want me to go forward. I think they're doing a bit of uh, hand lay first by the looks of it. Yeah, that can uh, conservatory. I can't say the word now. Conservatory looks um, looks the bee's knees. It's got a bar in it by the looks of it. And two of the chairs have tennis balls as feet. Bit weird. I don't know if you can see that. I'll take a photo. It's got fucking tennis balls for feet. Bit weird. Anyway, let's just uh, delete that photo because I don't want it on my phone. Um, I think that's going to be it for me at the moment. I can't really spend all my time talking to you because I've run out of stuff to say. I just realised there's a fucking water main there. Huh? Must have been close to it and that. Didn't see that coming back. Um, yeah, so sped up footage on the back again and um, hopefully we do, do a bit of moving. That's the plan. So I'll see you in a sec. We're done here. We um, got 20 ton laid down. We start her up and um, attempt to get out of here. Probably going to need my diff lock on getting out of that because that's quite a steep hill. What's that? my mirror so I was looking in my mirror and I could see my other mirror which I don't normally see so I might have bent it a little bit going under some trees right so I'm pretty sure we have to turn left out of here I don't think we can turn right even though that's really where we want to be going yeah no we definitely can't turn right But it's nice and easy to get out. And because I'm slow moving traffic, cars can overtake me quite easily over here. And even though we wanted to turn left, we just come off here. And then come back down on that slip road. So that's uh, nice and easy. Well, I'm just looking at the sat nav. I think I've come off at this before this junction and it might be a blind spot. Should be all right. We'll find out in a sec. No cars. Yeah, it is a blind spot. Oh, no, it's not. It's all right. Nothing coming. Let's go. Yeah, that's not a blind spot at all. Must be another one I was thinking of. Right, oh yeah, this is the blind spot. But I can't fucking see shit. There we go. I knew there was a blind spot around here somewhere. Yeah, you can't see. By the time you lined up with that junction, you can't see at your left at all. So you sort of got to go wide, sharp left hand turn in, um, so you can see at your left and then turn right. All the while you're indicating to go right, but cars behind you must think, what the fuck is he doing? <clears throat> now we want to go right here. Lovely jubbly, now we're back onto the A420. 
Right, so um, the plan now is to go back to base and get loaded uh, with another um, load of tarmac. And I'm, I'm supposed to be going to Swindon next, which is obviously just down the road from where we're based in Quicklade. But um, things change all the time. I could be coming back here for all I know. But um, I'm supposed to be going to Swindon. But we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, getting in that place. Um, I think I'm lucky that someone told me where it was to begin with. Because if he, if he hadn't have told me that you've got to keep an eye out for it, I probably would have missed it. Because the, the entrance is definitely concealed. That is a concealed entrance. And trucks aren't really supposed to go down there. That is quite tight for trucks. The entrance itself. But um, yeah, we got there in the end. Nice and easy. Um, I don't know whether you heard, but Reg earlier, he was saying that he went past twice. He still didn't see it. But no, I just wrote, I typed it down into the sat nav. Um, typed the name of the farm into Google and used the postcode on the sat nav and uh, sort of used them both to my advantage. Never mind, right, so we, uh, we're going to Swindon hopefully next. And then uh, we've got a Redden run after that. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, here we are again. So uh, we've been loaded and we are on our way to um, Swindon, which we're actually in Swindon now. So we're on our way to Swindon. And um, our bus has got his hazards on, no, you send them off. We've got uh, 20 tonnes of tarmac and we're taking it to uh, what looks like a building site, which I've never heard of before, to be honest with you. It's called Wilmot Dixon. So I put the postcode into Google, street maps, and um, I had a look at street view, and lo and behold, there is a uh, building site there called Wilmot Dixon. So I'm definitely, as far as I'm aware, delivering to a building site. It does look like it's in, in like an area of a house, of like houses and stuff. So um, I've got to be wary for cars parked more than likely. It doesn't look like it's going to be the easiest place to maneuver a lorry around. But such is life. Hashtag lorry life. I don't think there's a single HGV driver out there who doesn't go down roads and go down streets that are tight. Everyone does. So you can't really moan about it. The car in front of me right now just cut me up on a roundabout. So um, keep an eye on him. I did flash him. And hopefully, yeah, you budge over, mate. Fucking hell. You see that? I saw him coming over my way, I moved over to the left a little bit and he still had to fucking dodge last minute. Right, we're going straight over. A312, 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 I don't know. Let's just take the middle lane. Yeah, we could have done the left lane as well, doesn't matter. I think we've got to take a right when we get up here anyway. This roundabout is new. We didn't actually tarmac it, someone else did another company but we could have done fucking hell how close do you want to get to that bus that bus is stopping oh we're going left up here not right middle lane was a good lane to pick as well by the looks of it because it takes you straight into the left lane when you get here that's the first time I've gone over that roundabout once it's been complete. Gone over loads of times when they had cones out and everything, like directing you, but that's the first time I've been over while it, whilst it's been complete. Right, it's just around the corner, just up here somewhere. Got to go left at the roundabout. And then um, left again before we get to the magic roundabout. If any of you heard about the magic roundabout in Swindon? It's like this, this roundabout, which has seven roundabouts around it. Yeah, seven. It's um, something that every Swindonian, such as myself, is brought up with. And we're like, we're taught to go around it on our driving test and everything. But a lot of people who've never been around it or ever seen something like it, proper freak out normally. It's literally seven mini roundabouts around a big roundabout. And you can go clockwise and anti-clockwise. It is pretty weird, I must admit. But, um... Being brought up in Swindon and taking your tests in Swindon, you, you get used to it. So it's 
so we can go past these traffic lights left at the next roundabout and then left again and then it's somewhere up there I don't know what the site name is called like I know obviously the company is Wilmot Dixon but I don't know what the house in is called they call it like something don't they normally these yellow signs could be a, a clue of where to go This lane closes, but we need to go left. Right, there's a roller there, so that's a good sign. And it says road close, which is another good sign. So go round the other way. So I'm assuming go left here where this car's come out. No. No. Let me follow the diversion signs, it's probably the best bet. Just want to clear the route on my sat nav because it's going mental at the moment. Right, so yes, we want to go left here. And as I thought, there'd be lots of cars in the way. And I've got a dart around all these. My beacons are on. Letting people know that I'm a hazard. Some guy is going to wash his car when he's got lorries going past him. I think what we do is turn right and park up here on the left. It lets other, other lorry drivers know then that we're here. Right, uh, need to go make an acquaintance with them, just make sure that I am in the right place. Obviously, an extremely good chance that I am in the right place, but you never know. And um, see how long I've got to wait as well, see how many drivers are in front of me, because I am the third load, and I could be the third lorry here, because there's one behind me now, but I'm not entirely sure if he's tipping or not. So, um, yes, let's go find out what's happening. All right, so sit rep, what are you beeping at? Uh, we are the third load here, um, and we are the third lorry here as well, uh, meaning that the other two lorries are still here. The first lorry has uh, day work on it, um, and it says in my paperwork actually, that the first lorry has 90 minutes of day work, so an hour and a half. I'm not entirely sure how long he's been here. Um, so, in, I mean, it could be another an hour for all I know. Lorry number two, uh, he's parked up just behind me on the left. He's been here 10, 15 minutes already. And then um, and then it's me who's just turned up as well. So, um, the current situation is we have to wait. So, I mean, I could be here an hour for all I know. Just, you don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on brake because I am technically not on site. I'm just off site. The road closure is behind me. I'm, uh, I'm not actually 
on the site yet. I'm on a public road, as you can tell, there's cars going past me and people going past me. I'm on a completely open public road. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna have a 15 minute break here. And then try and get half an hour break in later on. In fact, you can't actually see any cars going past me because I haven't got my dash cam on, just realized. Just trust me, there's vehicles going all over past me. Vehicle, vehicle, road closure. I don't know if you can quite see. Road closure's there, look, on the left. It says road closed ahead. So it's behind me, meaning I'm not on site, technically. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here now, have a 15 minute break, and then we need to go to Isley Manor and get loaded and go to Reddin. So I'd like to be out of Isley Manor before, let's say before half past 12, and it's 11 o'clock now. So I want to be leaving here in an hour's time, but I don't know whether that's going to happen or not. Just have to wait and find out, won't we? Right, so the situation is we've moved back since our last talk. Um, let's see if I can show you a little bit. So the pavement now is just over there on the left. One lorry's currently tipping. We've got like people working there and I'm literally just sat on the side here. So um, I can see everything. When matey boy goes there, I'll drive forward and to the right and then reverse back onto the paver. I've also got the GoPro on the top on as well, as you can see. But um, I'll take that off the screen for now and um, put that back on when we actually get there. Because it might be a while yet. Right, so as you can see, we're on the move. Need to reverse back onto that paver. Pedestrian. Who I saw there before they did. Well, we're just waiting, waiting for the pavement now to open its legs. As you can see, it's like that. It needs to be like that. So we're just waiting for that to happen. You know, that there is looking at me a bit weird because I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I think this is like the most annoying part when like you know you need to do something so you're on edge you're sort of waiting for waiting to do the thing but you can't do it yet because they're not ready for you so you just sat waiting around you just got to wait for their call which is that you yeah, that you just heard So we've got apron, PTO on. Not happy with the state of my wearers at the moment. I know it probably seems like I clean them every single video I put on. That's because I like to see. I get pushed again on this one.
out there, Joey? Uh, there's one out there at least, yeah. Tell me come up with you? I don't know who he is. Oh. <laughs> there you go, bud. What pen? Be suicidal if I didn't. Hey? Be suicidal if I didn't. What, having a pen? Having a pen, yeah. yeah. Get nothing signed, would I? Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, we're off. Fucking hell, it's getting late quite fast as well. Paperwork in the door before the wind blows it away. Oh, my load's already out. Paperwork's already signed as well, so as soon as we're done, we just drive off. I'll uh, stop at the end. Wow, ideally, they want to get the next driver in before I stop. Sorry for the lack of talking on this, by the way. I just need to concentrate while I'm getting pushed. 20 tons of tarmac up in the air. Mind you, we've only got about four tons left now. Still, it's four tons of tarmac. Just in the air, dangling. And I'm being pushed, I need to be careful, because I said before, if I, I've got to put my foot on the brake. If I brake too hard, we all stop. If I don't brake hard enough, I roll forward. So it's got to be just right. Not sure why I was shouting. That's it, all done. Just need to clean up. Good day. Right, so just got to clean up and then uh, we'll be off. Right.
Right, so we're now done. Just wait for this car to overtake. And that one. Now we can go. Ah, so we're now done here. We need to go to Isomana Quarry now. Can I get past that? See you later, mate. Okay, well, that's quite a difficult manoeuvre there. Turn around here. And we're out of there. So that was just a bit of a difficult manoeuvre then, so I had to concentrate and turn around, uh, getting around that there. So we're now two jobs done for the day. I need to get to YZ Manor Quarry now and get the third job and then take it to YZ. Uh, it's 10 to 12 now, should be there in less than 20 minutes. So by the time we leave IG Manor, it will be before half past 12, which is what I wanted. So now we're there, hour back, that's half past two, and I need to get half an hour break in at least. So we're looking at three o'clock finish. That's assuming there's no traffic. That's a bit bastard to get out of now. There we go. Housing estates are a bit of a nightmare. Like I said on the way here, you've got to look out for cars. They're all over the place. Um, one thing I've always, I mean, that's fine. But how they were there, that was fine. But you do get some places where they, they just park like utter dickheads. And I know, I know what some people are saying. They're like, oh, well, lorries don't come around here. So we don't need to give lorries room. Bullshit. What happens if a fire engine needs to get past? What happens if your house is on fire and a fire engine cannot get down your road because you park like a fucking dickhead? It winds me up sometimes when I go down some housing estates where they just they just don't think. They just don't think at all. So yeah, but no, that was alright, it wasn't too bad. So we're now on our way to Reddin and uh, well we're gonna get go to Izy first, then go to Reddin. And um then we'll be done for the day, so let's uh, head to Wise Manor now. Right, so we're nearly here now, we're on our way to Reading. We're, we're actually in Reading now. Uh, we're only a mile away from where we need to be. I've got a cyclist in front who I can't really overtake. I haven't got the power, well, I've got the power, just, I'm just too heavy. I can't overtake him. I ain't got enough time to get past him. So we just literally have to sit behind him and try not to apply too much pressure to him to hurry up. Because <laughs> I think that's against the law, getting too close to cyclists. I mean, there's nothing in front right now, but I haven't got the speed. I don't want to overtake you, mate. I could I could have got in front of him, but like, there's no point. He'd just get back in front of me again. Got a car trying to overtake me. Stop trying to be so fucking impatient. Now, is he going to keep going? That's the question. Or is he going to stop at the lights? I mean, he's going, isn't he? Right, so we go over the bridge. 
and then we over here we need to take a left. Um, I mean, I love driving and everything, but today was just one of the most boring rides over here. It really was. It's just motorway most of the way. It's just incredibly boring. And there's no good music on, and there's just nothing. And it just got me thinking, like, you have plenty of time to think when you're driving across long distances on motorways. And there's, when I come to edit my videos, I have to um, obviously edit my dash cam footage. And I got it on loop, so it records every five minutes, and then it records another segment, and then another segment, and another segment. So if I'm recording for 15 minutes, for example, that will actually come under as three separate uh, files. It's going to tell me to overtake again. Why are you shaking your head? He's shaking his head at me. I could have overtaken him again, but I've got to turn left. <laughs> Run, cyclist. Well, cycle. Oh, he just realised I'm turning left. So that's why he put his hand up. I just want to save his life. Never mind. He, um, I think he was shaking his head because he wanted me to overtake him and I wasn't. I was thinking of overtaking him, but then I would have needed to come to a complete halt to turn left. Anyway, so I got thinking about the dash cam footage and it records in five, uh, five minute segments. So if I record for 15 minutes, that's three separate video file formats. So I have to put those three files together to make one video or one 15 minute uh, long video. But I also need to trim a little bit off as well, because if I don't, then it, it's not a smooth movement into the next frame. It's sort of, you finish the first file, and then when you get to the second file, it records maybe, you know, like a, a 250 second, uh, tenths of a second beforehand. So actually, you sort of like, you go in this way, and then jumps back and then goes again. So it's not very fluent. But I was thinking, if I turn loop mode off, it might be all right, it might be better. And then I won't have all those segments. And I'm sorry if you don't understand what I'm saying, but yeah, that's what I'm uh, thinking of doing. Uh, hopefully it makes editing a lot easier. Right, so we're just around the corner now. Just around the corner. When we get here, I'm going to have to turn the dash cam off. Um, because I haven't been told not to film in the places that, uh, in the workplace that I work for, the company. I haven't been told not to film on site. I just, um, I don't want to risk it, basically. So dash cam's getting turned off now. You can still see me, so don't worry. And we're just gonna turn right into here. here which is annoying because I might need to get out to get my paperwork signed I think are these guys all tipped have you tipped hey. are you in that Arctic yeah, For all these lorries that want to get out and in at the same time. The sheet's open, so I don't know if he tipped or not. As a general rule, you only really open your sheet if you need to be loaded or you're empty. You, your load should be covered at all times, so seeing his sheet open made me think that he was already empty, but he isn't. Never mind. So now I need to go and get my paperwork signed and uh, 
and then we can uh, continue. Right, so we, uh, we've just finished shipping in the Red Inn site now for the company that I work for. And now we're making our way back home. It's about an hour drive back. Um, and the sat nav is saying that we will be home at about quarter to four, something like that. Now, um, even though I know how to get home from here, I always put in the destination in the sat nav because I just, I like to know what, like A, what time it is, because it tells me the time in like a really easy to find place, and B, what time I'm going to get there. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's why I like putting the sat nav on, even if I know where it is I'm going and how to get there. I will go. Yeah, that cyclist did annoy me a little bit earlier. It's, uh, fair enough, he waved me across, do you know what I mean, saying that I can go, but that doesn't mean I can go. The first time, I wouldn't have been able to overtake him in time before the traffic lights, because I'm 32 tonnes. Well, I'm not now, I'm empty now, but I was 32 tonnes. I was heavy, and it takes me a while to accelerate, so I wouldn't have overtaken him in time, and if I did overtake him in time, he would have just went straight back in front of me anyway, so it would have been pointless to do it at those red lights. The second time he waved me along, if I overtook him, I'd be indicating left by time, by the time I'm halfway over him, I'd be indicating left to turn left. I would then have to make him slow down so I could turn left. And if he doesn't slow down, I could have knocked him off his bike. So, yeah, he was shaking his head, but I don't know why he was shaking his head because he wasn't upsetting me, but I didn't mind being behind him. I was turning off soon anyway, so it didn't bother me. <clears throat> I tried not to apply too much pressure to him because obviously as a cyclist you, you don't want a lorry right up your ass which is probably probably why he was shaking his head because he tried telling me to go past him but I wasn't so I mean that was probably why he was shaking his head I mean we've got another cyclist here now but because I'm now empty I can overtake him a lot easier when the traffic is clear so I mean after this car here I should be able to overtake him quite easily so it's not that I can't overtake cyclists it's just that I'm only going to overtake them if it's safe to do so there's three parties that can get injured myself the cyclists and any oncoming vehicles so um, yeah rant over rant rant however you want to say it stupid cyclist <laughs> right anyway we're on we're on our way back now so we've done uh, three drops today 60 tons quite a tight bridge um, no idea what we're doing tomorrow yet because obviously we don't get our taxes until about four half four well, about half or five really nowadays so no idea what we're doing tomorrow um, so yeah we just have to play it by ear now and see see what's happening for tomorrow but I mean I'm, I'm done for the day get back in the yard I've got to do some paperwork I really need to wash this lorry because this lorry is mank at the moment it is pure filth but every time I try to go and use the wash someone else is on it and I am not the sort of person who is going to sit there waiting to wash my lorry if I if I if there's if it's available when I turn up I wash the lorry I'm not waiting in my own time to wash my lorry I'm back from work I can go home I wash my lorry but I'm not waiting to wash the lorry no 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 which is sometimes why I come in on my off days to do it. Which, I mean, you could argue is worse, coming in on your day off to do it. But, you know, I bring my daughter with me, or both my daughters, and we have a bit of fun. You know, get each other wet and stuff. It's father-daughter bonding, isn't it? So yeah, I need to wash the lorry if I get a chance. Just finding the chance to do it, that's all. Right, so I mean, that's it really. I can't think of anything else really to say. So <laughs> that's it. Thank you for watching this video. And um, if you can like it and comment on it, that'd be awesome. Um, and if you are a fan on my Facebook page, please share the link 
to this video that would be absolutely fantastic because obviously I link every video I put onto Facebook and if you can share that post or your friends can see it and yeah, it's, it just helped me out a lot so yeah thank you very much for watching and commenting and subscribing and sharing and I will see you soon until next time drive safe bye bye or oh, before I go actually I'm not actually going to end the video right now it's been a while since I've done a time lapse video so um, if you're interested in my journey back home keep watching and uh, it basically be sped up footage of me traveling traveling home and with some cool music in the background if you want to have a bit of, bit of a dance <laughs> anyway drive safe people see you later bye bye